Then the other thing that keeps us on Python, and, that, and this is the, the major thing, is how readable and writable it is. It, it, when we hire new employees, I don't think we've yet hired an employee who knew Python. And I just say, everything you write needs to be in Python, just so I can read it. And, and it's awesome, because I can see from across the room, looking at their screen, whether their code is good or bad. Because good Python code has a very obvious structure. And that makes my life so much easier. When you're trying to read somebody's Lisp code, it's just like, holy jeez, I mean, this is, this is complicated. Your brain has to do a lot of work just to, just to parse it. And look across the room and see what uh, good Python and bad, uh, bad Python have differently, if, it, if it's length to the line or what exactly your criteria are for that. The, the good code, bad code thing, I, I should say it's really bad code versus acceptable code. Um, you can tell when somebody's coming from Perl or coming from, one of our guys came from Erlang. Uh, it, it's like they're, you can you see their names are weird. They have these hideously long lines. It's, it's, you can see when you see the same pattern over and over. And it, it just, Python makes it easy to see, hey, you need to generalize whatever that thing is because I can see that shape like three times on your screen. Um, you know, something's wrong there. And that's mostly just kind of, I, I mean, that would be bad code in any language. Um, but in Python, it just happens to be easy to spot that without leaving my desk. 